proposed luxury residential community in North Texas, marketed as a five-star resort built to withstand a nuclear war, is now at the center of an FBI money laundering investigation. Reporter Brian New with this iTeam exclusive. McKinney resident John Eckert is the man behind the proposed $400 million Trident Lakes development project up in rural Fannin County. He is also the man, according to this federal criminal complaint, that the FBI says agreed to launder money he was told was Colombian drug money through his high profile and unusual residential project. It's being sold as upscaled living with unprecedented security. It's going to be a five-star resort with DEFCON preparedness. An hour northeast of Dallas in rural Fannin County sits the site of the Trident Lakes development. The development, according to its website, will feature a golf course, an equestrian center, three white sand lagoons, and five resort spas, along with off-the-grid energy and water resources, a DNA vault, and 400 underground condos equipped to survive a doomsday scenario. You lower your air air blast lock doors and you're safe from the dangers. According to the development's website, the first residents were expected to move in the first quarter of this year. But as of today, all that's visible on the 700 plus acre site is a water fountain and a trailer. <laughs> Neighbors across the road say they haven't seen any work done on the property for years. No. Everything was already, everything you see there, it was already there when I moved out here. Tommy Pinkston says for locals, the project has become a punchline. <laughs> they look over, I don't see them doing nothing over there. <laughs> but for federal investigators, this is no laughing matter. In March, the FBI arrested the development's owner and manager, McKinney entrepreneur John Eckerd. Eckerd faces multiple counts of money laundering. According to the criminal complaint, last October, Eckerd and an unidentified co-conspirator met with an undercover FBI agent in Atlantic County, New Jersey. There, they discussed the laundering of Colombian drug money through the, quote, development project. In the criminal complaint, federal investigators don't mention the name of the development project, but describe it as a high-end underground housing project near Dallas that's being marketed as a five-star playground with DEFCOM 1 preparedness. Over the next several months, according to the FBI, on at least two occasions, Eckerd and his alleged co-conspirator received $100,000 in cash from the undercover agent. The agent told them it was drug money. The two then wired the money back to the agent, minus a transaction fee. In February, the stakes were raised. This time, the undercover agent allegedly told Eckerd the Colombians would launder a million dollars in narcotics proceeds through the development project. And after a few months, the Colombians would bump it up to two million a month. According to the FBI, Eckerd responded, right. When we went to ask Eckerd about the federal charges at his home in McKinney, no one answered the door. But his lawyer told the I team, as you know, the government, they can write in a variety of terms, and they choose the terms. When asked if Eckerd denied the charges, his attorney told us, we have not entered a plea of any kind. Eckerd was released on a $100,000 bond. He was also ordered to surrender his guns and passport. Eckerd is no stranger to controversy. He filed for bankruptcy in 2003. A year later, he was sued by NASCAR for promoting a series of risque videos called Racetrack Girls Go Nuts. We have posted the court documents detailing the FBI's case on CBSCFW.com. With the I-Team, Brian New, CBS 11 News.